Hey guys, this is Duran. You're about to watch a video from my full stack React Native course on Udemy. The course has a total of five projects ranging from beginner to expert. You will learn everything from styling to Redux to Node.js to Mongo Atlas to authentication. I am posting half of each project on YouTube. And if you like what you see, you can view the rest of the course on Udemy. And make sure you use the promo code Geek Mode. Take care. Okay, so let's start building our project. React Native automatically generates the code that's shown on the screen. Let's go ahead and delete the following. Delete all your text components. And go ahead and delete styling below. We're going to keep our container. And although we have not created our button component, let's go ahead and add that right now. Let's add our button component between our views. Okay. Now let's add the folder, the source folder. And in our source folder, we're going to go ahead and add our components folder and our lib folder. Our lib folder is going to contain our globals file. Globals will have all of our default styling and our default text and our default like button types and modal types. Now go ahead and add the following. Modal.exports Our button title, our colors, which will hold up the default colors of our application, our button type. As you saw, we have three different buttons that will be added. To that will be adding on to this application. Our modal type, which will be deep, three different types as well. And our modal button title. So let's go ahead and add the values. As we saw in our wireframe, we're going to have a conf confirmation button, an approved button, and an input button. So let's add confirmation. Approved. And input. Our default colors will be blue, light blue, light blue, and white. Three B five nine nine. Eight. Our light blue, 
will be 9-D-A-C-C-D. You should know this one already if you've been developing for a while. F F F F F F. Our button type will be confirmation with the value of one. Approved with the value of two. And input with the value of three. You understand why our button types have numbered values in the future. Just follow along. You can copy everything from button type and paste it in your modal type. And our button title, as shown in our wireframe, will have yes, no, and OK. So let's add OK. Value of OK. Yes. Value of yes. And no. Value of no. Awesome. 